kitty cats. We're cute. But I'm cuter. Me wow. Cookie scooter skills. One day, the kitten saw a commercial showing a cat on a super fab scooter. <laughs> Oh, wow! Look how cool that scooter is! I want to do that, too! Super Steel Scooters are so cool, they'll make you cooler than this cool cat! Awesome! Daddy, I need the cool scooter from the commercial! I've been saving up! I want to use my money to get it. Ah, so an ordinary scooter simply won't do? No, a normal one doesn't come close to the same level of coolness. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, since you're paying for most of it, I guess we better get the cool one. Ah, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! At the store. Cookie bought everything he needed to look just like the cat in the TV commercial. Cookie, you look like the coolest cat of all time. You do look quite handsome. Now I'm going to be able to do some super cool tricks. Watch this. Whoa. Now, was that a cool trick or not? Not. Falling's not cool at all. It's a really good thing that Cookie's wearing a helmet and pads. I'm only warming up, so I'll be even cooler than the coolest cat who ever lived. <laughs> huh? Something's wrong with this dumb little ramp, obviously. How about instead I just jump over the sandbox? Whoa! Turns out you're the coolest cat never. Which doesn't look handsome at all. I know why none of my tricks are working. Obviously, the scooter's broken. You need to take it to the place you got it and trade it in for a good one. Daddy and the kittens went to the store to let the sales cat examine the scooter. There's nothing wrong with this scooter. In fact, it's in perfect working order. Yeah? Then could my helmet be messed up? Nothing wrong with the helmet. What about the... Your safety pads are also just fine. <laughs> okay, well, thank you. We'll get going then. Maybe it just fixed itself on the way here somehow. Cookie, what part exactly was broken? Cookie couldn't do super cool stunts, like the awesome rider on TV. Well, since we've learned it isn't broken, maybe you can do cool tricks now. Okay, I'll try. I'm going to ride down these oh. steps. Cookie, stop! Cookie, you don't know how to ride downstairs, and I don't either. Does that mean that the cool TV cat can't really do them? And the super skill scooter isn't really cool at all? Were they just lying about it? <laughs> Not at all. That cat on TV can really do those cool tricks. Come with me. I'll show you what I mean. Daddy and the kittens went to the skate park, where the cat from the commercial was practicing. <gasps> wow. wow! I can't make my scooter do all that, even though I've got the same exact model you have. <laughs> I can do all this stuff on my scooter because I practice all the time, like for hours and hours every day. It's a lot of hard work. Oh, so then it's not the scooter that's cool, but the rider. I have a really good idea. Cookie just needs some time to practice. If he does, soon he'll be doing lots of super cool tricks. Yeah, that's right. I'd be glad to give the little dude a lesson or two. So awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! The kittens learned that every skill requires practice. Then, you can do cool tricks on any scooter. Championship. With only a few more days left until kickoff, you can bet the stadium will be flooded with fans very soon. And here comes our city's own team and their glorious captain. <laughs> are we going to the stadium too? Of course we are, kittens. It's the only way to truly support our team. Oh. 
In fact, I was just about to call and book our tickets this minute. We'll get to watch the game right there at the stadium, just like real fans. So awesome! Bee wow, bee wow, bee wow, bee wow! <laughs> we'll get to see our team win. And after the game, we can drive back waving our winning team's flags. No! No! Huh? Uh, uh, oh, no! Oh, what happened, honey? There are no more tickets left. They've already sold out every seat. Oh, all is lost. Oh. It doesn't really matter, my darling. I'm sure we'll survive. We'll just watch the game on television. <laughs> Come now, I'll make some nice tea for you. Poor Daddy, he's such a mega fan. I feel bad for him now. Attention, soccer fans. The contest for the best trick with a soccer ball is now underway. The winner will be awarded an official team ball presented by the captain himself. Hey, we need to win that ball for Daddy because that would really cheer him up. I will now bounce this ball on my head a hundred times. One, two, three, oops. Just a sec. This time for real. One, two, three. Oh. One, two, three. Oh. 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 One, two. Oh. All right, maybe I can't bounce it a hundred times. Well, maybe you could make just one tricky shot. A super incredible one. Hey, Cookie here. I will now kick this ball through that door. Then it'll roll down the slide on the other side. Cool, let's try. Ah! Ugh. Ouch! Ouch! I don't think I can do it. I have a really good idea, but to make it work, we'll need a little help from our friends. The kitten's friends agreed to help them perform the ball trick. We ready? Yeah! yeah! All right, let's do it! Now let's send this into the trick shot contest. The next day, they announce the contest winner. And the winner of the trick shot contest huh? is Cat the Artist. Aww. For his creative approach to soccer. He will receive an official team ball from the captain. But we'd also <laughs> like to mention another special video from the Kitty Cats and Friends. No way! They're showing our video! And as a special prize, all these adorable kittens and their parents will receive tickets to the championship game! Awesome! Bee wow, bee wow, bee wow, bee wow! The stadium is completely full today. The home team leads with a score of 2 to 0. The captain power kick. The ball soars high into the air and it's by the way to the hands of the lucky young fan. Watching the championship match and cheering for your team from the stands can be a wonderful experience, especially when you're with your family. Walkie talkies. One day, Mommy and Daddy gave the kittens an unusual gift. Dear kittens, these wonderful gadgets are called walkie talkies. Over. Hear you loud and clear. With them, you three can talk to each other from a distance. <laughs> so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> Attention, this is Candy, and I'm laying on my bed. Over! Uh, attention, this is Pudding. I'm just here in the kitchen eating an apple. Over. This is Cookie. I'm looking out the window. Let's play outside. Over. I'm coming. Me too. <laughs> This is Cookie, and I'm outside. Over. Um, yeah, we can see you. We can hear you, too, Cookie. I guess we really only need these walkie-talkies when we're way far away from each other. 
This is Candy here, and I am in Africa. Over. This is floating here, and I'm up in the Arctic Circle. Over. Hey, can anybody down there hear me? Over. Walkie talkies don't work when you're in orbit. Huh? Did that lawnmower just pass by on its own? Never mind that. Let's figure out cool stuff to do with our walkie talkies. Well, we could give one to Mommy so she's always able to get in touch with us. But that's why we have a telephone. And plus, everyone would hear whatever Mommy was saying. Careful on the fly, Cookie Kins, or you'll tear the back side of your pants like you did last time. Oh, shush, Mom. The, the back side of your pants? Why does that lawnmower keep running around everywhere by itself? I don't know. Just like I don't know what to use these walkie-talkies for. It sort of seems like they're not really that useful. Attention, huh? this huh? is the police inspector speaking. Oh. Oh. The city gardener's lawnmower has gone missing. Please report it if you spot it. Over. Me, wow. It sounds like Cookie oh. managed to find the police walkie-talkie oh. station. That's given me a really good idea. Kitty Cat Search Squad here, reporting a break in the case. We've seen the lawnmower. It's running on its own. Over. Cookie? Candy? Pudding? Yes, yes it's, it's us. us. Then, by all means, continue the search. Report back with any new information. Over. Great. Copy, Copy that. that. Oh, wow. We'll be looking for the lawnmower just like real life police officers. I found some lawnmower tracks here. They lead right inside this bush. Over. Oh. I found some lawnmower tracks around the big old oak tree. Over. And I see lawnmower tracks pretty much everywhere. I'm barely sure I can hear the lawnmower. It's somewhere over there. Yeah, I see it. It's headed away from us towards home, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Police, come in! The Kitty Cat Search Squad have found the lawnmower in our own backyard! Roger that. I'm on my way. Uh, uh, oh, yeah! My beautiful lawnmower! Oh, Daddy missed you so much! Come on, stop! Please? Stop, lawnmower! <laughs> I can't thank oh. you enough for finding it. I don't know what I'd do without it. It's the Kitty Cat Search Squad that you should thank. Oh, cookie, candy, and pudding. Thanks, friends. Our pleasure. Wow! Oh, what a remarkable job you've done trimming our lawn. <laughs> Come inside, everyone, and enjoy some freshly baked muffins. Mommy here. Tea and muffins are on their way. Do you copy? Over. Yeah, loud and clear. Now, if anyone needs to find something, the Kitty Cat Search Squad will always be ready to help. Kitty Fun Fair. One day, an exciting traveling fun fair came to town. We're headed to a real life fun fair. Oh boy, this is going to be the best day ever. We should try every single ride there. It's a shame that the fair is only here for one day. Kittens, don't worry. We'll all have a really wonderful time. Right, we'll take pictures after every ride so we'll never forget the fun time. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! He wanted to ride the roller coaster with the really big loops. Hmm, I'm sorry, little fella, but this ride isn't suitable for kittens. You have to be taller than this to ride it. Well, what if I crawled up on Pudding's shoulders so that huh? we'd look as tall as a grown-up? Well, you are taller, but you still look too young. Hmm? <laughs> We can make mustaches and beards out of cotton candy so everyone thinks that we're grandpas! It's not about how old you are, but how tall. If you're too short, the seatbelts won't hold you in. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> that is very not safe. 
Let's go to the fun house with the crazy mirrors that makes us look wobbly. That'll cheer us up. <laughs> Happy faces for the picture album. I didn't find that very fun at all. Huh? Well, first my tail looked enormous, then it was too little. Then I looked all wonky and crooked. <laughs> yeah, fun house. There's more attractions over there. Look! We must ride the adorable ducks! No way! Let's try that haunted house there! Is it really scary in there? No way! It's the coolest! Yeah? Okay, then. Well, then I'm going to ride the ducks. All right. Have fun, kittens. Daddy and I will wait here. We'll take a nice photo of your smiling faces when you're back. <laughs> Spider's just made of plastic. And that snake's just made of rubber. <laughs> and now for the picture. Well, we don't seem to have any happy pictures so far. I was very scared. I wanted the ducks to go fast. Nothing was real on that ride. There are more attractions over there, darling. <laughs> oh no, my phone battery ran out. Attention guests, the traveling huh? fun fair will be closing huh? soon. And we still haven't got a photo where everyone is happy. And the fun fair is moving on tomorrow. <laughs> really good idea. We just need to find a ride that everybody will like, even if we can't take a photo. Yeah. The kittens and their parents decided to ride the Ferris wheel. Wow, we're really high. It's sort of scary, but it's really cool as well. And it's really beautiful. <laughs> Cookie looks like someone's grandfather. At least now you can get on the rides that are just for grown-ups. <laughs> <laughs> oh, looks like we'll get our picture after all. Everyone, now we have a happy picture for the Fun Fair album. And we are all smiling in it. Yeah, but Daddy blinked, though. Oh, no, I've ruined the whole thing. I think we have time for one more ride, and we'll get another chance at the picture. Awesome! The Ferris wheel turned out to be the kitty cat family's favorite ride and helped make the trip to the fair a really special happy being together memory for them all. <laughs> Off to the races. One day, the kittens brought remote controlled cars to the playground. Now car number one speeds ahead of the pack, rounding all obstacles. Hey, I think we should build our own racetrack on the playground so we can have a race. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! But I want to be in the race as well! Do you even know how to drive these cars? Well, no, but I'd really like to learn. May I? Uh, okay, fine. This drives the car forward, and this button makes it go backward. Finally, you steer it by turning hmm. this little wheel. Ah, it seems simple enough. <laughs> Not that way! No, oh. stop! Um, let me try to back up. Okay, I'm starting to get the hang of it. Oh, no? Which way are you going? Oh. Go backwards, reverse! Well, that's huh? about enough of that. Everybody oh. knows that girls aren't any good at driving. They just aren't quick enough. Uh, but girls are really good at pushing strollers, so that's something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here, let's put a really sharp turn. And then we can put a ramp here. I'm gonna prove to them that girls are every bit as good at driving cars as boys are. Candy found the remote control that operates her robo-fish. Excellent, now I just need a little practice. Huh? Oh. Uh, oh. Huh? <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. Oh, oh. Oh. I think these are dads. 
Uh, uh, ow! Oh, come on! Oh, not that way! Wait, wait, wait! Oh, wait, wait, I said! Huh? Just stop! not true at all. Driving fast doesn't mean driving well. When I drive home from the supermarket, I try to avoid every pothole and bump and turn very gently because I don't want to spill my groceries everywhere. <laughs> I've got a really good idea. Candy drove the Robofish very carefully to keep her favorite doll safe. <laughs> Set for the race? Yeah. Huh? Um? <laughs> what is that thing? A sardine mobile? <laughs> <laughs> Candy the sardine driver! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Candy. Hurry up. Flap your fins faster. <laughs> <laughs> Drivers, start, start your, your engines. engines. Go! <laughs> <laughs> Across the line first. It's first, middle, and last. And Candy wins and we all lose. It looks like girls can become good drivers after all. And since I was victorious, you boys have to push my doll carriage. Just do it carefully, please. Turns out not only being fast, but also being careful can help win the race, no matter how big or small. Inventing an invention. One day, the kittens were walking past their friend Dart's house. Hi there. Hello, Dart. We're headed to the park. Do you want to come? I can't. I've been trying to invent something useful, but unfortunately, I'm finding it really tricky. We can help you with your problem. A bunch of heads are better than one. Together we would have one, two, three, four heads. We'll, we'll help, help you. you. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. A good invention needs to be really useful. Huh. Could we make an invention that would do all my teeth brushing for me? <laughs> hey, my teeth are up here! Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> mm, it's probably a little easier to just brush your own teeth. You're right. How about a boiled onion detector? Which would tell you if what you're eating has any onions in it. Onions are so yucky. They must be stopped. Huh? Onions detected. Uh, onions detected. Uh, run for your lives. There are onions in the soup. Uh. You could just ask if there are any onions in your dinner. You're right, it would. What about a machine that would help you with deciding things? Hmm, which one should I wear? Ah, thanks a lot! If there were inventions like that, everybody would just stop thinking for themselves. Darling, have a great day. I'm off to work. Uh, oh my, did you pick this outfit yourself, dear? <laughs> nah, this thing does all my thinking for me. Oh, yeah, bad idea. What about a machine that takes your hat off? Uh, or one that'll knock on a door? Or fluff up pillows? Or, or, uh... 
We've got nothing good. See what I mean? I've been trying to invent a useful invention all day and not a thing. I have a really good idea. We need to go for a walk. Mommy always says if you're stuck on something, you should take huh? a break and go for a nice walk. You're right. What Dart needs is some fresh air and sunshine. Ah. The kittens had lots of fun at the playground. Dart didn't think about inventing his invention the whole time. <laughs> it's really good we decided to take a break. It's a beautiful day. Oh, Eureka! Huh? Taking a break! I think I have my invention. The next day, Dart invited the kittens over to show off his useful invention. My super useful invention will remind you to take breaks regularly. Wow, wow great. great! When the alarm sounds, that means it's time for a break. The arrow picks a fun thing to do while you take the break. Like riding a bike. That's, That's brilliant! brilliant. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Thanks to his friends, the kitty cats, Dart found out that it's great to take a break if you're stuck on something. Especially if you'd like to invent an amazing invention. Learning to fly. One day, Daddy brought home a remote-controlled flying toy. Daddy, what is that? It's a quadcopter drone. It's like a tiny helicopter with four rotors instead of one. You control it with a remote just like a toy car? Amazing! Can I play with the drone, too? Me first! Give me the controller! I want to try, too, Daddy. Kitten dears, I'm very sorry. But this is a toy that's only for grown-up cats, like your daddy. <laughs> Oh, it's not easy to control it. It's better to fly outside. In a little while, we'll go out and try it together. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! But later on, I have to finish what I was doing first. You can look at the quadcopter all you want, but be careful and don't try to fly it. But toys are for kittens, aren't they? Not for grown-up cats. Yeah, it's not like we couldn't figure out how to make the quadcopter fly without Daddy's help. I guess we are the toy experts, so it should be fine. But shouldn't we take it outside? There's more room for flying there. Hi, guys. Look what we brought with us. Wow, that is really cool. My uncle has one just like it. You really know how to fly it? Of course. It's really not that hard. gonna tell daddy oh. there's only one thing we can tell him we have to tell him the truth daddy aha uh -huh. so are you ready for your first flying lesson well hand me that controller 
and we'll head outside for our very first flight. We're sorry, Daddy. We thought we could do it ourselves. We already took the drone out. We tried to make it fly, but we had trouble controlling it. And now it's stuck in our chimney. Huh? The chimney on the roof outside? Uh, oh, my kittens, I had reasons for telling you not to fly this by yourselves. You could have broken the quadcopter or words hurt someone. Yeah, I guess we didn't really think about all that. I won't take anything without permission ever again, I promise. <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear that, kittens. And it seems our quadcopter isn't broken, so that's good, too. Hooray! <laughs> I'm guessing the controller's broken, and that's why we couldn't fly it right. No, the controller's just fine. Trying to fly a drone like this is a little difficult, and that's why I said it was a toy for grown-ups. <laughs> Daddy, you're like an ace pilot. We'll never be able to fly the drone like that. Sure we will, when we get really, really old, just like Daddy. Probably earlier than that, you just need to learn and practice. But never without Daddy there, to teach you and to supervise. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! That is how the kitty cats learn that some toys are more complicated and can only be played with when you're with a grown-up who can help you. <laughs> Squabbling kitties. One day, Daddy suggested that the kittens play a board game. Look at this, kittens. Ah. And this game can be played by several players at once. There's no way that you could get bored with it. Mommy and Daddy have some things to take care of, but you can play the game together in the meantime. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Okay, I'll take the first turn. But Cookie, you go first every time. Let me be first for once. No fair, I never get to go first. Let me. But I'm faster, so I should be first. Oh. Uh -huh. Me, I'm first. <laughs> the kittens didn't want to let each other go first. All right, it's your turn. Well, I'm done. I am not going to play with you anymore. I'm not either. Is that right? Well, in that case, I'm not playing with you two. So I'm going outside to play with my ball. The kittens thought that they would be happier without their siblings. I'm going to have so much more time to make wonderful dresses for my dollies. I'll come up with my own fashion collection and everyone will love, love, love it. Become a great fashion designer. <laughs> now I can devote myself completely to science and study cool stuff like plants and mushrooms. And I'll go everywhere in the world and discover all kinds of awesome things. Oh. <laughs> Lots more time to practice soccer. I'll become the captain of a famous team. Then we'll win the world championship. Ah, and win a giant trophy. But then, the kittens realized that something was missing. Oh, I really wish Cookie and Pudding were here to see this. Yeah, I really wish I could share this with my brother and sister. Celebrating a win with pudding and candy would be just so awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. I just wanted to take a look at the game board. Oh. Um, are you having fun all by yourself? Sure, it's awesome. The most fun ever, ever. I'm having all the fun in the world. Huh? Boris came over to huh? visit the kittens. Who's there? It's Boris. Hi, Hi there, there, Boris. Hi, guys. 
Boris, come play a game with me. No, come play with me, Boris. We'd have way more fun if you played with me. Why don't we all play it together? We decided that we're never playing together again. Because someone always wants to be the one that plays first. Yeah, or getting offended by everything. We were fighting the whole time. I don't have any brothers or sisters at home, so I came to play with all of you, but you're fighting. Boris, don't leave. Let's all play together. I'll even let you be the one to play first. Can I play? I'm really tired of just sitting alone. I agree. I've got a really good idea. We should stop fighting over stuff and play together instead. <laughs> Looks like the game is at full swing. Have you got room there for two more players? <gasps> Your father and I would be very happy to play the game with you. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The kitty cats realized that it's not that important if you go first or if you win, as long as your friends and family are with you. Exercising kitties. The kittens were spending the weekend with their grandma. Wake up, my darling kittens. Time to greet a lovely new day. We want to stay in bed a little longer. Yeah, I haven't got the energy to get out of bed. Come on, kittens, join me for my morning exercise. You all will feel super energized and strong in no time at all. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Exercise. Only grandmas and grandpas need to exercise. We're just little kittens. Exercise is really great for cats of all ages. Stretching helps you feel strong and energetic. I'm really strong already. Oh. Just check this out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're some athlete. If you don't want to exercise, it's fine. But you absolutely must have porridge for breakfast, little ones. It will give you energy for the entire day. That means if we just eat porridge, we'll be really strong. Yeah, and we can do it without morning exercise. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. The kittens had their breakfast and went to play outside. I'll bring it back here. I just can't run anymore. I'll get it down. How are we supposed to get it down from up there? Uh, we could use a stick to knock it down. But what if instead you break it? We can put springs on our feet and jump up and grab it that way. What if you get stuck in a tree as well? Then we'll have to get you out of the tree too. Hey, maybe we should call Dart's father. He'll hurry here in his fire truck and get the helicopter down. Hey! Up there! We can't distract firefighters from more important things. You know, fires and stuff. I suppose we'll just have to climb the tree ourselves to rescue the helicopter. But the kittens weren't strong enough to climb the tree. We're never going to be able to get our helicopter down. <laughs> ah, the old helicopter in the tree problem. Let's get it back then. Oh, wow! Huh? Ha! Ah. Grandma, that was amazing! You looked like some kind of super cat or something! There's nothing super about it. It's all thanks to my exercises. I'd like to be as strong as Granny, too. Yeah, so do I. I have a really good idea.
Daddy and Mommy came to visit Grandma and the kittens. Well, Pudding, seems like you're a kitten superhero. It's only been one day and your grandma has already turned our kittens into athletes. Hello, kittens. And hello to you. It's all thanks to Granny's exercises. Actually, I feel like I could do with a little exercise. I'm pretty stiff after driving all of that way. In that case, why don't we do a few exercises all together? So, so awesome! awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! By the way, that me wow, me wow wave of yours is great exercise. So now the kitty cats always do their morning stretches, and their wave is a megatastic way to exercise their arms, too. The Mysterious Cake Chomper. One day, Daddy baked a wonderful cake. My darling, what a lovely cake you made. Can't wait to try it. We'll have it after dinner for dessert, of course. But for now, let's let it soak up the cream. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Now I just need to find a glass cover so your cake will stay nice and fresh. Cookie decided to have a closer look at the cake. And then he decided to try it. And then... I think this cover will do nicely. Oh, where did Daddy's cake go? That's a good question. Wasn't it just sitting right there? Cookie must have eaten it. No, it wasn't me. It was... It was... The Cake Chomper. Who now? The Cake Chomper? <laughs> wow, never heard of him before. What did it look like, Cookie? Well, uh, well, he had a cape, a spotted one, and a strange metal hat. Uh, and it was wearing purple mittens. And it was hooting like an owl. It ate the cake and then ran off. Somewhere. There's a cake chomper hiding in the house somewhere, and there isn't a moment to lose. We have to track him down right away. Let's go! Uh, uh, <laughs> the whole family started searching for the mysterious cake chomper. It's not behind the sofa, either. Oh, what could the spoon be doing here? Uh, uh, the cake chomper must have accidentally dropped it. I'll look for it over here. Woo, 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 woo. Everybody, the cake chomper was just here, and I think it ran into Mommy's room. Cake chomper, are you here? <laughs> Look here! I found footprints, see? Looks like the cake chomper must have walked through some chalk. It would seem he has two left feet, which is weird. The chomper also transported himself into Mommy's room without leaving any more footprints. Cake chompers are even more mysterious than they are hungry. Well, I'm not gonna believe it exists until I see it. Okay. Oh, it looks like the cake chomper is branching out from cake to jam. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. Now we know who the cake chomper is. Cookie, why didn't you just admit you ate the cake yourself? I didn't want everybody to be angry with me. I'm sorry. We're not mad at you, Cookie. Was the jam really tasty? <laughs> yeah, it was. And was the cake really yummy? It was so yummy. I have a really great idea. Cookie should just make another cake, and we can help him. That is a great idea, and I'll teach you how. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Ready 
each of you kittens like a slice or two? Yes, please. But let's keep an extra slice on the side. Yeah, just in case good old Cake Chopper pops in for tea. <laughs> <laughs> so on this day, Cookie learned that it's always better to tell the truth and to cook up a solution to make up for it. The Sweet Truth one day, the kittens went with their parents to a festival where Daddy was going to display his delicious cookies. This part is perfect. Apparently, whoever has made the tastiest treats wins a very special badge. Yeah, and I've prepared some super yummy cookies that are guaranteed to knock their socks off. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Is this one of the yummy cookies that's going to knock their socks off? You betcha, and I call it the magic cookie. Go ahead, try it. You'll see why. Mm. It's so great! <laughs> well, thank you. Do you see? It's magic because of what's inside. You kittens can go explore while we stay and get the booth set up. Just be careful to stay in the fairgrounds. As the kittens looked at the other booths, they started to feel a little nervous that the other treats looked yummier than Daddy's. Hmm? Hmm, 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 hmm. Pretty good, but Dad's cookies are way yummier. But who'll notice these plain-looking cookies with all these fancy pastries around? Pretzels! All flavors of pretzels. Pretzels with apple, apricots, or honey. Hot and so fresh. I mm -hmm. got it! We just need to tell everyone that Dad's cookies are delicious. Mm. The kittens wanted to help Daddy, so they made posters to advertise Daddy's yummy cookies. Great cookies! Great cookies! Come and try some great cookies! Hi there! Hey, guys! You've got to try the cookies our dad made. Sure we will. But first, I've got to try some of those sugar butterflies because they're just so beautiful. And I want some star-shaped lollipops. And cream-filled pastries. They really look amazing, don't they? We better hurry before they're all gone. Hmm. They'll never make it to dad's cookies at all like this. I know how to get their attention. Hey, you guys want to experience something super awesome? Huh? huh? Did, Did you, you say, say something, something super awesome? awesome? The magic cookie. Just one cookie is as amazing as flying in the sky. Just one of Daddy's cookies is as lovely as watching fireworks. Just one cookie is as exciting as riding a dolphin. <laughs> the magic cookie from Kitty Cats. Try one now. Oh, whoa. We want your cookies! Hey, my cookie isn't working. I'm still on the ground. I should be flying by now. Yes, and I can't see any fireworks at all. Where's the tiara I wished for? You promised us magic, but everything you said about these cookies was just a lie. Hmm. Did they believe my cookies were actually really magic? Well, we kind of said stuff just to get them interested. And they haven't even taken a bite to try them out. Yes, well, of course not. They were upset they didn't experience the miracles they were expecting. Hmm. Yeah, looks like we shouldn't have made up lies about your cookies being really magic. But your cookies look so ordinary on the outside. How can we explain how amazing they really are? I have a really good idea. We'll tell the truth about how extra yummy Dad's magic cookies are, but in an extraordinary way. They might look ordinary, but try a bite and you will learn that they're the very best cookies ever true. Don't pass them by. Come give them a try. You'll be impressed. These cookies are the Well, let's get this over with. Mm. These cookies are truly delicious. The best in show badge is yours. Every pastry shop in town ought to be selling your cookies. They're wonderful. Awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! And that's how the kittens worked out how to tell everyone the sweet truth about their daddy's wonderfully scrummy cookies. Treasures of Ancient Egypt. One day, Dad had picked Pudding up from school. Hey! Pudding, welcome home. How was school today? 
I have a homework project for the weekend. I have to prepare a report on ancient Egypt. How interesting! Nah, not really. How much is there to say about Egypt? There's pyramids and sand and that's all. <laughs> Don't forget the palm trees. <laughs> ancient Egypt is actually quite a fascinating subject. For one thing, the ancient Egyptians used to believe cats brought them good fortune. Really? And the pyramids contain precious treasures that are very difficult to find because it's easy to get lost in all the tunnels. Cool! Well, how about tomorrow we all take an expedition to ancient Egypt? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Mm, somebody turn the alarm off. We don't have to get up for school today, it's the weekend. Wake up, kids! Did you forget we're exploring ancient Egypt today? Oh, <laughs> oh, mommy. mommy! You look really beautiful! <laughs> Thank you. In fact, the most beautiful woman in ancient Egypt was considered to be Queen Cleopatra. That picture is really funny. The head's sideways, but the body's front ways. That's because they had certain rules for drawing. Everyone had to obey the rules. Drawing differently was not allowed. Whoever was more important was drawn bigger in size. For example, a warrior was drawn bigger than a common Egyptian. And the most important and highest of all was the pharaoh, the king of Egypt. In fact, the pyramids were built for pharaohs in the first place. Inside of them, there are chambers full of treasure and mummies. And here's a map for you. Awesome! In ancient Egypt, they wrote in what is called hieroglyphics instead of words and letters. Oh, it's hieroglyphics, right? Yes, it's a kind of writing that uses pictures. Look for the good fortune hieroglyphs. They will show you the way. Awesome! <laughs> Come on, let's find the treasure right now! <laughs> right, Mom said we need to find the hieroglyph for good fortune. But what do they look like? Uh, how about like this? The ancient Egyptians thought that cats brought good fortune. Mommy said that, remember? I think I know how to find it. Let's follow these cat pictures on the map. Bet that's how we're supposed to find the treasure. Hold on, huh? who exactly is that lying in my huh? bed? Hmm? <laughs> 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 Hi, Grandpa. Why is your entire body covered with toilet paper? I'm not your grandfather. I'm a real live Egyptian mummy. <laughs> and I'm guarding the Pharaoh's treasure. <laughs> Run! <laughs> 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 Get up, dear Mummy Grandpa. <laughs> Our exciting exploration of ancient Egypt has come to a close. It was very fun and interesting. Now I'll have so much to say at report time. Thanks so much. But there's something you forgot. Don't my little Egyptologists want to find out what's inside the treasure chest? <gasps> yes, I carved those for you. Not of wood, ouch. So you'll remember that cats are lucky. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Mommy, Daddy, and Grandpa spent the rest of the day pretending to be ancient Egyptians with the kittens who saw that any topic is interesting if you make learning fun. Lifeguards. One day, the kittens and Daddy were visiting Grandpa. <sighs> what a perfect day for fishing. Huh? I'll sail out a little way and catch a whopper that's humongous. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Kittens, we'll be fishing closer to shore than your father will be, but you still need to wear your life jackets. Back in my lifeguard days, cats would sail with no life jackets at all. 
Were you really a lifeguard, Grandpa? So cool. That must have been the coolest. Hmm? Lifeguards just like Grandpa. Wait a minute. Who are we supposed to save? There's no one here but the fish and the seagulls. You got that right. No one to save out here. So let's just catch some fish. It's fun if you give it a chance. <laughs> No, almost lost it. Oh, yeah. Let's toss this overboard and then rescue it from the water like real lifeguards. No, it'll get soaking wet. Shh, kitties. You'll scare the fish. Hey, Candy, what if you were to jump in the water and we could save you? Come on. You're wearing a life vest. But that's not fair. It's your idea. You jump in. Then Pudding and I will save you. Huh? No way! I don't want to be saved. I want to be the saver. <coughs> oh, we can save the fish from the seagulls. <coughs> oh. Hey, burgling bird. Hmm. Aw, we make lousy lifeguards, don't we? Uh-huh, I got a bite! Oh, dear. Oh, oh, you're a big fella, aren't you? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, oh boy. Ah! Daddy had accidentally turned the boat motor on. Huh? Help! Huh? Oh. Daddy! Daddy! My son! Uh, oh. Attention, it's time for a real rescue operation. <laughs> Daddy, the lifeguards are coming. Now grab my paws. But Daddy got swept up by the current. Kittens, throw your daddy this rope and pull him to the boat just like a fish on a hook. <laughs> oh. Our paws were too slippery to hold on. We're the worst lifeguards ever. <laughs> Good idea. We'll catch Daddy with our fishing rods. A wonderful idea, Candy. Let's do it. So the kittens went daddy fishing. <laughs> You've really caught a big one, kittens. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, kittens. You just saved your daddy. That means you're real lifeguards. And don't worry about the broken rods. I'll buy you some new ones as a reward for saving my sweet little boy here. <laughs> my boat. Grandpa turned off the motor on Daddy's boat. Careful now, or we'll have to save Daddy all over again. <laughs> <laughs> that evening, everyone enjoyed the fish Daddy caught, and the kittens told Mommy all about their rescue mission. Germs. One day, the kittens came home from playing outside and wanted some fruit to eat. Yummy! I want to have an apple. I want grapes. And I want both apples and grapes. Kittens, weren't all of you just playing outside? You need to wash your paws before you eat, because they're covered with germs. I've never seen a single germ in my whole life. What if germs are just a story Mommy made up to scare us into washing our paws? Hey, why don't the three of us go on a big germ hunt? And if we don't find any, we can tell Mommy germs don't exist. So awesome! Bee-wow, 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 bee-wow! Mommy always says that there are lots of germs in the bathroom. But I don't see even one germ anywhere. 
Of course not. Who'd want to live in the toilet? Maybe they like to live where there's food around them everywhere. The kitchen! <laughs> So, um, have you found any germs? Not even one teeny tiny baby germling. Well, maybe they're so teeny tiny that you can't see them at all without a magnifying glass. Oh, oh this is no germ. It's our dad. <laughs> I don't see germs on any of these buttons. Yikes, oh. I found one. Right in there. It's just a regular old spider. Mommy's always telling us to wash our paws when we've been playing outside, right? That must mean that lots of germs live outside. The kittens examined everything around them very carefully, but they still didn't find any germs. That's it. Our research proved there's no such thing as germs. Right. And I'm going to eat something right now without bothering to wash my filthy paws. Cookie, did you remember to wash your paws first? They've got germs all over them. And you're getting germs on the cupcakes as well. Daddy, don't tell me you believe those fairy tales about germs because we proved they aren't real. We looked everywhere and didn't find them. There's none outside or in the toilet either. So we never have to wash our paws again. No! You didn't see any germs because germs are very, very tiny. Even a magnifying glass can't see them. You can only see them through a special machine that's way stronger than a magnifying glass called a microscope. Wash their paws with soap and then check them again through the microscope. Hmm. Well, now there aren't any germs on your paws at all. Which means you can eat all the cupcakes and fruit that you like. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> <laughs> it was so nice to eat cupcakes and fruit when they knew there were no germs on their paws. From then on, the kitty cats always washed their paws before they ate.